Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'll be showing you the best ultimate settings for OBS. So, let's get started. As you can see, I've got OBS opened up and um, this is what I record with or used to record with or still be recording with. I don't know, um, I'm kind of working on a brand new program which is OBS Studio which I might make a tutorial in the future when I actually figure out really, really good settings for that but I'm, that's still a work in progress but I have actually figured out the ultimate settings for OBS, best settings to keep your file sizes small, recording 1080p, 60fps, and no lag, and it's crisp and clear, uh, audio quality, no buffering. So these recording settings consist of some settings, yes, some settings. So just to get started off, what you want to do is go on profiles and create a new profile. When you create a new profile, name it of what you want to have the profile named. Because I already have a profile, as you can see, I'm not going to create a new profile. So now what you want to do is create a scene. I have uh, plenty of scenes because I use different scenes for different things, say for example, vlog cam, film record, I don't know what that is for, I was just messing around with some settings, but um, create a scene which is going to be used for recording software, so as like a recording software or just for recording your games or whatever you want to record on your desktop. So what you want to do is uh, right click and add a scene and then name it to whatever you want and then press OK, I'm not going to do that because I already have a scene and now what you want to do is add everything you want. Depending on what you want to record, you're going to add whatever sources you're going to record. Today I'm only going to be showing game capture, but monitor capture is kind of similar and webcam capture is similar. All you have to do is right click, add and choose your thing. So what you want to do is right click, add and add game capture. I already have this, so when you add the game capture, it should be added to the sources. So now what you want to do is double click the game capture and choose the window you want to record. Choose the window which is opened in the background. For me, there's no windows open in the background. It's still recognizing some old windows in the background. I can probably do this and do that, maybe. And the preview stream, is it going to record my other recording software? Yes, it is recording my other recording software. That's pretty cool. But um, choose the window you want to record. Um, Say, for example, something else, except the whatever, whatever I'm recording right now. So, and now what you want to do is choose if you want your cursor to be captured or not. For me personally, I would like I like my cursor captured because in my games, the cursor is always captured. Like for example, Minecraft, that's what I record, or any other games. For some games and certain games, you wouldn't like your cursor to be captured, or for certain videos. And the rest, I guess it's on default. I'm gonna stop preview stream because we don't want that. So now what you want to do is go into the settings. So into the settings. When you start off general, here is the language you want to have your settings in. Here is the name of the profile that you set up over here. And now it's time to go into the encoding. So the encoding, I know it looks really weird, only 1000 bit rate. I'll explain that later on when we get to the advanced settings. But what you want to do is choose the encoder X264. I know recommended is if you have a good GPU say for example me I have the Nvidia GPU I would have chose that but it doesn't work with these settings you have to choose the regular encoder and this is because of the 1000 bit rate I do a bit of a glitch with this program which it sets it as a, a thousand bit rate but records it really high quality and it, it just it just doesn't look at this bit rate setting so it's really really awesome so what you, what you want to have is use CBR disabled um, to uh, turn the quality balance to 10 and then the max bit rate to 1000 1 and 3 zeros behind this use custom buffer size and set this to 0 now onto the audio encoding so the codec which I'm using is AAC I think this is default and I'm using 48 kilohertz which is 4800 4, Hertz, I think, if I'm not mistaken. So now the bitrate of your microphone will depend on what quality your audio goes with. I choose 192 bitrate because that goes well with my microphone. My microphone is not the best, highest quality microphone out there. So there's no point of me bumping this up to the maximum because my microphone is not capable of doing that. So 192 bit rate, it's perfect for my microphone. I would recommend don't go lower than 128 for video recording. If you do streaming, then you can go to 96. This is just to reduce your um, 
in like lag and just so the bitrate doesn't thing but this is recording settings so uh, 192 that is the best choice for most of the microphones and to be honest every single microphone only if you have the best studio microphone you can then bump it up to the top uh, notch bitrate but that will uh, depend on your file size after you record the video so what you want to do now is press apply and go into the broadcast settings so broadcast settings you would normally have it onto live stream you don't want this what you want is to set it to file output only so what you want to do is put it on file output only go on the file path and find a place where you want your recordings to be saved so find a folder as you can see I already found the folder which I record my videos in and what I do I just name it rec or recording or raw footage for this tutorial purpose I'm gonna call it rec as like recording this is what I normally call my videos just so it's easier and then I'll know and then within every single video you record first video that you or first clip that you record is gonna be called rec and then the second uh, video that you're gonna record it's not gonna overwrite the video what it's gonna do is gonna put rec and then a little one behind that so then it won't interfere with other files so now what you want to do is press save and then apply over here so now let's go into the video settings so the video setting as you can see there's the adapter my video adapter is the Nvidia GeForce GTX 780 and if you do have a good video adapter or do if you have a video adapter in your PC like a good graphics card choose the GPU if you don't don't worry about this setting that the, the probably just probably won't be nothing or maybe your integrated graphics or something like that and now the base resolution this is how big your monitor is so depending on the monitor resolution you have you put of this over here my monitor resolution is 1920 by 1080p so that is like full HD. It's not 4K, which is not ultra HD, but it's full HD. So this is what I make my videos in. So make your uh, monitor resolution in here. That if you want to find out what your monitor resolution is, what you want to do is right click over here and then screen resolution. And then you look for your monitor over here. And then here you go here where it says your monitor resolution. And then if you have this then set your monitor resolution to whatever that said so for me it's 1920 by 1080p and now resolution downscale um, if you want to record on 1080p just keep it on 1080p don't downscale it but if your internet upload speed is a little bit low and you don't want to record in 1080p and upload videos in 1080p or 60 fps which i'll talk about the fps in a second you can bump this down to 720 what this means is that the 720p is actually it's gonna record your whole screen as the 1080 screen but what it's gonna do is bump the video down and it will render the video or leave you the video at a 720p quality so you don't have to worry about compressing the video to a lower quality you can just record it in 720p which actually saves a load of uh, space on your hard drive as well but 720p is slightly worse it's still HD but it's slightly worse quality and I really recommend 1920 by 1080 don't downscale it is the best so now down to the FPS this is all up to you you can choose as high FPS as you want depending on how good your PC is so my PC is somewhat decent and it manages six, recording in 60 FPS. Sometimes the FPS drops time to time, but it's hardly noticeable. So if you want to record in 60 FPS, set this to 60. But um, if your PC isn't good at all, set this number to 30. This is the lowest you would want to go because 30 FPS is enough for the video to be nice and smooth but not laggy but for the purpose of the video and the purpose of my own settings that I do I set the FPS of the video to 60 FPS so it's nice smooth and there's just technically no lag in the video and it's just smoothed out when you're playing and it feels really nice while watching so what you want to do is press apply and go into the audio so the audio for the desktop audio device what I do I keep it on default this means that anything you plug in or any noises or anything like for example if you're doing a collab with someone on team and like they're talking to you on TeamSpeak or Skype or Discord or whatever anything or like music in the background on your PC it will pick everything up no matter what you've got plugged into your PC it will pick everything up just keep it on default so any headset you plug in and any audio which is coming from the PC it will pick up in the recording software now on to the microphone now what you want to do is choose the microphone you have and you want to record with um, for me I have 
only a blue snowball that's what i use to record my videos so a blue snowball or whatever microphone you may have a blue yeti so it'll say on microphone blue yeti or if you have a microphone plugged in with a 3.5 millimeter jack it would say like something um ratlek uh, hd audio or something like that it's one of the microphones uh, probably you just have to check and if you don't know how to check which microphones which what you want to do is go to this little speaker icon at the bottom of your uh, screen right click onto here and then go on recording devices and then over here you will be able to find the name of the microphone you have and what microphone is plugged in and which microphone is named which and then you can define of which microphone you want to apply for the OBS settings so now going on to the audio settings at the bottom over here this is kind of like a delay thing where you can push to delay by milliseconds so you can put a setup button to delay your microphone i don't know why would anyone want to do that i wouldn't like to delay my microphone but there is a little setting which is really really useful especially from uh, if you have a really really kind of bad quality microphone or a microphone which doesn't pick up audio very very well what you can do is boost your microphone level what that means is that i have it on one because one is perfect for me that is what i have and it's perfectly fine because my microphone picks up audio as clear as a crystal but for certain microphones it doesn't pick up audio as well and it's really really quiet alongside of whatever you're recording in the background of like in your game background noise you know the game noise and sound so what you want to do is boost this up to as many as you want you'd have to experiment with your own microphone so this is a bit of a trial and error so for me i'm keeping this at one try it off with these settings if this doesn't work boost your mic a little bit put it on to record a little segment of you just doing a little bit of a test record a game and if it's still too low just keep on boosting it until it's the right level of sound but um this is going to be it for the audio settings now what you want to do is press apply and hotkeys um i don't do any hotkeys i have the streaming hotkeys which i don't really use at all so um i just tab in and tab out you can set up your own hotkeys if you really really want to um, I used to use hotkeys, but now I stopped using hotkeys because I never know when I'm recording and when I'm not because OBS doesn't give you any indication if you're recording or not. You'd still have to tab out and see if it's actually recording. So I don't use hotkeys. If you want to, you can use hotkeys, but me personally, I don't use hotkeys. This is just personal preference. Now onto the advanced settings. So so in the advanced settings, the general settings, as you can see this little top box, I'm gonna do box by box, segment by segment, so you don't get confused. So what you wanna do is tick use multi-threading or multi-threaded optimizations. And then over here under this, what you wanna do on the process priority class is set this above normal. And then scene buffering time in milliseconds, set this to 700. And what you wanna do next is allow other modifiers on hotkeys i don't really know what this does but i just have it like this and it works perfectly now let's go on to the video so this will depend on how strong your cpu is so my cpu isn't the best so i keep this on ultra fast this means on how fast your video is rendered while recording into a file so if you have like an i7 the like six uh, 6700k i7 then you would want to bump this down to like faster or fast or medium or even slower this will increase the video quality really really much but if you have a pretty bad cpu like me i mean my cpu isn't bad but it's not the greatest so you would want to bump this up to the highest just experiment with this what i recommend is ultra fast that means that your video will not have like lag spikes or anything and it will just pr like the video processing will uh, be a little bit slower so when you pr uh, press stop recording after you finish recording What's going to happen is that you're going to have to wait 5 to 10 seconds for the video to become an mp4 file and for you to be able to watch it back again. So the encoding profile, um, set this to high, this will improve uh, the quality of your video much. And then keyframe interval, well I have this on 2, I don't know if it has any difference on if you set it to 3 or 4 or whatever or you would want to set it, but I have it on 2 and I recommend it on 2. 
So now going on to the bit where I talked about 1000 bitrate on the encoding setting at the very beginning. So what you want to tick is use CFR and then afterwards tick custom X264 encoding settings. So what this is, is that this little code over here, which I'll place in the description below so you can copy it and paste it into this little box. So what this does, this um, kind of... Um, tricks the whole system that apparently it records 1000 bit rate but what happens is that it actually records much higher quality at a really really great quality with low file sizes and also what it does it doesn't lag your game it doesn't take so much CPU and GPU power to create the video footage encode with full range um, I don't have that selected this is unticked um, and the rest is unticked uh, what you want to do also is have the bind of a interface on a default and the latency turning factor on a 20 and that is going to be it for the advanced setting so now now we are going to go on to microphone noise gate this is very very helpful if your PC is a very very noisy so in the background as you can hear I am actually using noise gate on um, the other OBS that I'm recording this video with but um, in the background you'll probably be able to hear my fans if I don't use the noise gate so what you want to do is preview enable preview and as you can see this green light line so every time I speak or any noise is generated and picked up by my microphone this uh, line indicates on how much noise is indicated so if I go silent and don't speak anything the line go maxes out around here where my mouse is so this is what is being picked up uh, from my computer these are actually my computer fans which are being picked up so what you want to do is have the close threshold on just on top of where the line ends so I'm going to go silent again for a second these settings will depend with different microphones with how noisy the background noise around you is so you're gonna have to set this up yourself I'm just giving you an example on how to set this up so as you saw I gone a bit silent and it maxes out around here so you want to do this like just above where it maxes out yes yeah, about right here minus 32 dBs so now what you want to do is with the open threshold go a couple of uh, dBs up above so if this is say for example minus 32 you wouldn't want this to be minus 30 or minus 29 this is where it will catch your audio so this is where it will close so for example if you just stop speaking like I will just right now see where the, uh, the, the green thing ended this is where it's gonna stop picking up audio so if the noise goes lower than this little cursor here it will just not pick it up but if you start speaking you're slightly louder than the noise or you're much much louder than the noise and then OBS will pick up any noise or any audio coming in through your microphone which is louder than this little cursor here as you can see if it goes over it will pick the audio up and then when you set this up what you want to do is press enable noise gate this is very important because when I first was setting up noise gate it was all broken and I didn't know what to do but I didn't select this setting so this this actually enables your no, noise gate so it works perfectly how you set it up so it actually enables the noise gate so now what you want to do is disable preview and apply all your settings so this is going to be it for today hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to leave a like if you really really loved it please make sure to subscribe hopefully these settings will help i know a lot of people have troubles with obs uh, people don't know how to set it up because it does look for uh, complicated when you first look at it but when you get your head around it it's really really easy you just have to understand the settings but um this is going to be it for today hopefully i was able to help all you guys which needed help with OBS or open broadcaster software but I mean that's gonna be it for today hope you enjoyed this video take care everybody and bye bye